big ounces starving. Whoa, Gordon Quandale got all this loot? If I don't catch a five foot shark for a big ounce right now, he's gonna die. Was that an adorable little shark that I'm gonna just grab with my hand? Whoa, what's that? Don't lose that ball. Fortnite. Well, this is safe, right? What a day. Good morning, Queen. Queen is recovering very, very well. And as you can see, I got all these lights so that we can hang them tonight. She does cough though because of this thing, but she's starting to gain her weight back. Now I finally have enough lights to cover the rest of the property and I never need to buy more light. The clappy blappies have just been vibing over here all day. I like to watch them from my windows. Earlier they were sleeping right there. These children sure are precious. Tonight I'm gonna bring them inside so we can play with them a little bit. Keep socializing with them so they don't forget who I am. As you can see, these little duck boys have been hanging out under here drinking all this water that I really need to reroute out from under the house. I really need to put an end to this. But now these guys have the poop pool and this nice little thing that'll stay fresh because they can't poop in it. They've done an awesome job of eating all of this grass and it's a really good sustainable grazing system for them. And there's still plenty for them to eat. The rat tight chicks are all thriving and living together in relative peace and harmony. And we got flowers on here now. Hey, ain't you Nathaniel B? Homelander is now much, much bigger than Karen, as you can see. And pretty soon he's gonna be much, much taller than me. Look at this baby boy. Kanye's thriving and whoa, is that hit rapper and artist Da Baby? Da Baby vibing at the fire pit for today? And for some reason, all these ducks are back in their quarantine enclosure. Kevin wound up in his own enclosure over there somehow, even though he can get out. The baby's creeping up on me like a little boy. New Nugget is thriving. The pigs are doing really well. And whoa, what's that? You know what, guys? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I need a break. It's beautiful here, but there's too much going on. I need to go to the coast right now. The big ounce enclosure is doing phenomenally well. This isn't even running because it's at 74 degrees all the time now. But oh no, big ounce is starving, you guys. Cringe is doing amazingly well per usual. Big ounce's wife is vibing over there in the corner. They have a lot of tunnel systems everywhere in the house. But look at this man. He's emaciated and starving. It's the same day, I promise. And yeah, I did power wash the deck. Guys, Big Ounce is starving. We need to go ahead and get a five-foot shark for him to eat right now. If I don't catch a five-foot shark for Big Ounce right now, he's gonna die. Don't worry, buddy. I'm getting one. That's right. I'm going to the coast with bolt fishing so I can catch a shark and maybe a little crab. Here I go. Good morning, everybody. This is the Texas coast. People sleep on it, and it's only four hours from my home. The full moon is still out, and we got all kinds of other cringe things going on. This is a little birdie name of drone their friend had that carries the bait way out there so we don't have to paddle it out. This is a beautiful little ladyfish I caught. You can't eat them, but you shouldn't because they don't taste very good, but they make phenomenal bait. Also, Uncle Ben is a pescatarian now at best, but take a look at these adorable baby boys. Boy. Wow, don't lose that bar. Don't lose that bar. Is that, is that an eater size? Can we eat it? Yeah. Dad, please, I'm starving. Uh, cool though. He's got one little snaggle tooth. He got one tooth. Boring. I'm getting my own. Monster snook, man. Monster snook. Monster snook, you guys. Look at this monster snook. Look at this monster tarpon. He got it. A monster trophy tarpon. As you can see, this is a tarpon, you guys. They grow just about everywhere here in, in Haiti. They have sharper teeth than I thought. Look at that one dorky tooth, but they also have all these other sharp teeth. That's why I kept losing them. Oh, Balt is hooked up. Well, looks like we're hooked up. <laughs> As you can see with this amazing hook set, I caught this shark by myself. Just to ensure the hook set, I like to run about 20 yards behind me and then I reel in while sprinting forward. Do not have anything. Oh, this is too much. Take it back. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. But what he doesn't know is that the second it's ready, I'm going to take it back. Pinning towel, pinning towel. Shark in the water. Hooked up this one by myself. I, fought, I got this by myself. Big Spanish mackerel. Big Spanish mackerel. Oh, big Spanish mackerel. Turns out it was a black tip mackerel or something. That's a big Spanish mackerel. As you can see, this is a cringe black tip shark. Cringe black tip on the fifth. Cringe black tip on the fifth. Cringe little face. Beautiful, beautiful, strong tail. Just like that, it's so easy to get the hook out. Now we need to get this guy back out to the water. Because their skin is like sandpaper, this actually gave me a rash. This is safe, right? It's an animal. Animals don't feel pain. Animals do, in fact, feel pain, but fish perceive it much differently. This will spark a big debate in the comments. Regardless, we tried to be as quick as possible, got the hook out, got a picture, and put them right back in the water. Revive them, give them a little kiss on the nose, put our fingers in his mouth, and we're gonna let him go. After I revive him for a while, we revive him just by sticking your whole hand in his mouth. Okay, yeah, there he goes. As you can see, he's fine. Just kidding, now I'm gonna hand catch the shark. Never do what you see me doing. I'm posting major cringe right now. I was just trying to make sure the shark was still fine, but he could have turned around on a dime.
Uncle Ben died that day. Wow, look how beautiful this creature is. Don't mind if I do. Cringe! Back in the water. You're just kidding. This is bait. Whoa, I caught this dead. This is a pike minnow that I found floating around. Also, this cringe blue land crab took up residence under our towel. Crab in the cheese it box for today? As you can see, this is the crab. He's very cute and adorable. This is the blue land crab, also known as Cardisoma guanhumi. I think these claws are just for show. As you can see, this is an adorable little blue land crab. I'm going to fill that in because I have no idea what this is. And then we're going to make up some facts about a creature for you. This is a rattlesnake track. You can see that it was just going through here. We do have rattlesnakes here. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this adorable little baby boy go. Whoa! Crab people. These adorable baby boys eat fruits, veggies, insects, fish, and each other. Cringe, nay, nay, Eugene crabs. Don't mind if I do. This fella really be like, do, 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 Oh, that's not your hole, sir, but we'll let you go in your actual hole. But this is a beautiful specimen. 10 out of 10. Great trip to the beach. Goodbye, little man. After that, Brandon made me paddle about a half mile to drop the bait off. It's really pretty simple. We just open the bale and stick it in the front of a car. As you can see, I was really zooming out there. I was on the rowing team after all, and I dropped it. Whoa, big tarpon, big tarpon. Okay, I'll grab it, I'll grab it. As you can see, there's no shortage of these guys. These are shark infested waters. They are everywhere. And most people catch and release them because they don't taste very good. Beautiful fish. There we go. What a day. Probably the best part of the trip was not needing a permit to be able to drive on the beaches here. It's pretty nice here in Texas. Don't mind if I do with this adorable little remora here. Watch how this adorable remora hangs on for dear life while he's getting flipped around in the back. Dude, look at those little barnacles. Was that an adorable little shark that I'm going to just grab with my hands? Don't mind if I do. Oh, 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 looks like I caught a shark again. Send him out to the ocean. There he goes. Oh, I just can't say goodbye to you. Get back here, son. <laughs> Take a look at this, guys. I brought this 6,000 lumen flashlight. Look how powerful this thing is. There are a lot of mosquitoes on the coast, so if it's not windy, you will get destroyed by them. Also, you're welcome, everyone. This is your quarterly anime beach episode. Don't mind if I do. This is a little ghost crab. They're pretty common everywhere at the beach. Such a handsome man. They're basically just smaller blue crabs that blend in with the sand. You As you can see, see this one's much big bigger, but still smaller than old blue boy. We also saw another big blue boy wow guys what an amazing day of fishing get off my port well 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 as you can see here the ducks that we rescued slash kidnapped they like vibing in the woods here and pooping in the pond and now there's way too much nitrogen in this pond so please let me know in the comments what some natural ways are to keep it from being really nasty in this pond here eventually we will have a filter and everything else but until then look how messed up his little beak is you guys but they're all very happy here kevin got locked up with the baby for committing several war crimes the bees are thriving we might actually get some honey this year heaven's thriving dust baby is thriving although he do be kind of locked up but this is his favorite spot on the farm and him and kevin have a mutual respect and they never fight kanye is doing much much better remington is thriving fellas drinking all kinds of water right now and well 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 what do we have in here Hamilton Hamilton's finally getting neutered this week because he is big enough to impregnate these other boys. I have a vet scheduled to come out and neuter him this week. But the miracle of life has occurred again on our farm. And per the custom, I'm going to take one of these adorable babies and keep them for myself. And after that, we're done. But that pink one there has really got my eye. <laughs> Look how precious they are. That mom sure is a trooper. But this is going to be her last litter. Like I said, you guys, Hamilton was really, really small before, and we didn't think he was actually able to impregnate the female. He tripled in size now that I realize it. Thankfully, all these babies are very healthy, and they're all going to go to loving homes as pets. And any money that we do get from the babies is going to go right back into feed for the rest of these animals. But man, do those boys breed quickly. As you can see, this is what the clappies do in the morning. They vibe in here, and then this is what happens after one day of not cleaning out the poop it's not that bad but it's pretty foul especially when they have this much food to eat but because this one's so small they can't poop in it so there's fresh water for them all day good morning crusty crew would you like to come inside would you gore Wombdale? Mm, don't mind if i do it smells like a hayride in here prissy wake up come on you guys you're being cringe all this among us and you chose minecraft gordon quandale got the netherite armor whoa guys that's a pretty good base how are you doing that whoa gordon quandale got all this loot in survival amazing all right guys that's it for today thanks so much for watching my video i love you oh almost forgot to <laughs>
Hey, Uncle Ben here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow Gordon Quandale on their new Twitch account in the bio.